Hi sweet friend, today I wanted to do a quick tutorial on how to paint these watercolor rosé wine bottles um, in a glass of course. Um, I'm actually I'm actually doing um, some of these for a live painting event tonight. I'm really excited and as I was painting these I was like oh this would be so fun to do a quick tutorial to show you exactly like the steps of how um, I do this kind of like more of a loose type of sketch. Um, so for the life painting events, I typically do the, these types of this types of style because it's you know a lot of, a lot quicker and um, it's not as detailed as like something that's um, that would take me like longer time because I, I have to work fairly fast. But I really enjoy doing this style because it's like fast and loose and really fun. Um, and so let me show you how to paint these. Um, oops, let me grab. So I'm going to pre-sketch these so that you can kind of see um, the shapes that I'm, I'm going to be painting here. So let's see, I'm going to start with sketching out this bottle in roughly, let me see, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So roughly, this is going to start with two parallel lines at the top, and then it's going to kind of uh, come outward. So we're going to have two slanted lines like this, and then so it's going to almost kind of be like a little triangle shape. And then I'm going to do two more parallel lines for the body of the bottle. And then it's just going to have a slight curve at the bottom. So that's kind of like a little, a little rectangular shape at the top. Um, so it's, that's kind of like the rough, rough shape of this bottle. And uh, let me see, I'll, I'll do another shape. This one is... Um, just kind of a little bit different so it's got a, a longer neck and like um, wider body so let's see same kind of principle two little parallel lines and then a little bit of a triangle type of shape as if we're sketching a triangle going outwards and then two parallel lines again and a curved line at the bottom. And then again, we can have a little little cap thing at the top. All right, and then the other bottle shaped is this one, and that's another fun one. Um, so that'll be, we'll sketch out, let's see, two parallel lines. And then to get this kind of like arch thing, kind of you can either pretend that this is a, a semicircle or say like I'm sketching out two parallel lines here towards the bottom and then I'm just gonna do a little arch at the top so that's kind of like a really easy way to get this bottle shape happening because essentially it's kind of like if you picture it's kind of like a circular shape in here to get that roundness on the edges and then curve at the bottom and a little little thing on top here and I'm gonna erase these extra lines so I I would recommend that you try to paint these um, loosely without even sketching first but I wanted to show you a couple of options um, of how you can pre-draw them if that makes it a little bit easier but I definitely, like, I want to encourage you to experiment and um, just keep it super loose. And as far as the colors, I'm going to be using um, Opera Pink. That's one of my favorite ones. And then when we're thinking about rosé wines, um, a lot of times they have, like, this very kind of rosé color to them. And the way to mix that in is we can either do like a um, opera pink or a little bit of magenta that can work too and then add just a little bit of like a, a light orange or golden deep color 
kind of like this. Now when you mix that all together, you get a nice, nice rosé color. So it's not, it's not orange, it's not pink, but it's like an in-between. And you can always kind of adjust this and say, oh, I want this to be a little bit more pink, so I'm just going to drop more magenta, maybe add more water so it's like very light in value and diluted. And here we have kind of like another another rosé color. So uh, both of these would work. This one looks a little bit more orange, but you can always drop in some, some pink and kind of change the look of it that way all right so now i'm gonna start painting i'm gonna keep uh, more of an orange like darker uh rose color for the first bottle here and let's see i'm gonna start painting at the top and let's see you're gonna kind of extend and i i, I want to outline like the little labels those are optional, but I think they look really fun when when you sketch them. So I'm just gonna like outline so I have this blank space, and then I'm going to basically just paint on dry, and then I'm going to outline this side. And with the loose sketch, I usually like to just like leave a little bit of um, blank space for the highlights, so our light source coming from the left side and that's the reason why there's like a blank blank space there it's unpainted but I'm going to kind of soften it a little bit and just just a little bit so okay, I'm gonna clean off my brush and I'm just gonna go over these these lines so they're still pretty pronounced but I kind of was going for that look because I want the the um, the lighter parts or the highlights to be kind of dramatic because this is a loose sketch and um, I just kind of want, want it to be able to see that contrast. And you can also go back in and drop a little bit more color on the opposite side of your highlight just to kind of like give it more of an interesting look. And then I'm gonna let's see, clean off my brush and I'm gonna add a little bit of just a couple of like little squiggles here and there to like give the impression of a label and some writing or like a pattern or something. And then for the very uh, kind of cork pop portion, I'm just gonna use, I'm using a little bit of lilac color. Just gonna mix it in with a little bit of purple, dilute it with tons of water. And I'm just gonna paint the little little guy at the top and also see like I kept a little bit of a white space at the top just so that it matched the highlight on the rest of the bottle. All right, uh, let's see for the next one. I want it to be a little bit more of like an orangey rosé. So I'm gonna drop in, um, grabbing in more of this golden deep and just gonna mix it in into my mix, kind of warming it up. And now I'm going to again kind of outline a little label here, just roughly, and then just gonna start painting. Let's see, I want I want this this uh, cork top to be a little bit longer, so that's why I'm not gonna cover it with this color. Just gonna do the sides here. All right. And I do wanna have my highlights, so I'm gonna lift off a little bit of the color here and the bottom. And then another thing I could do here is add like a little curved line so that that's kind of like gives you the impression that you can see through the bottle and you can see that that glass the glass uh, ring that's the, the base of the bottle just like a, an extra detail but makes it you know a little bit more special and again i'm just dropping in a little bit more color on the opposite side the highlight 
Okay, and then now for this cork, uh, I am going to use yellow ochre because it kind of mimics Yellow ochre kind of works as that golden color since I don't have golden paints on me right now um, I want to give the impression that this is a rosé bottle and has like one of those golden type of corks at the top so just very loosely and you see I like left a little bit of a blank space here for the highlight and then I could also use that same yellow ochre to kind of lightly add paint the label just a little bit all right and then the final bottle I want to do I'm gonna use mostly upper pink so it's gonna be very very pink but I'm adding tons of water so it's like uh, it's gonna be of a light pink color and let's see I'm gonna have my label here it's gonna go all the way across and I'm just going to fill this in with watercolor leave some space for my highlight And then, let's see, maybe extend this a little bit here on the bottle, the neck of the bottle. And then I'll go back to yellow ochre to do the, the cork portion at the top. All right, and I guess I'll mix in a little bit of yellow ochre and orange for the label and I'm just like it's very very light very light in color I'm actually going to use some water to just spread it around so you can kind of it's not super like pronounced but it's still there uh, and it creates like gives a, a nice nice look of the for the label and you can also add just a little bit more of a shading on the opposite side so it kind of goes along with the rest of the bottle. Let's see, gonna add just a bit more pink here on the other side. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, just, I, I encourage you to try this out. Uh, first, maybe you could try to do the pencil outlines and then paint them in or even try them, you know, just like freehand paint because um, it is really fun and like if you see some of these lines that you wanted disappeared you can always after after it dries come back and add that in just those tiny little details all right i hope you enjoyed this tutorial let me know if you end up trying to paint some of these bottles and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.